New developments now in the murder of Iowa college student Molly Tibbetts. The attorney for the accused killer, Christian Rivera, is blasting President Trump, claiming he's speaking out against his client to push his immigration agenda. I think that people are buying into the concepts and notions that Mr. Trump is bringing forward. And at this stage in the process, it's, it's not proper. I, well, the situation he's involved with concerning his status has nothing to do with the situation that unfortunately happened uh, over there on that road in Brooklyn. I, I'm sorry. So meanwhile, a new Fox poll finds a 7% decline in support for a pathway to citizenship for illegals since February of this year, with much of the change coming among Democrats. Let's bring in now Thomas Homan, former ICE acting director under President Trump and Fox News contributor now. Congratulations on joining our team. We are best to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's talk, if we can, about why across the board now politically you're seeing less support uh, for the issue. Well, I think the American people are, are being educated, and they want, the, they want the problems fixed. Before we move ahead, we need to secure the border. We need to fix the loopholes in the immigration system. We need to enforce the law. And the far left simply doesn't want that, any of that to happen. But I think the American people, I've said on this show many times, I, th I think the American people are smart, and, and they're being educated, and they're saying, wait a minute, you know what? This president is right. This president is standing by his commitment to protect his country and protect the American people. I, th I think that message is resounding now. So is there, because, you know, Democrats and, and other critics, too, have said you know, there's a question mark between whether what's happening or what has happened in Iowa with a man who was allowed to stay here for seven years um, using some fake documents is what we're learning from the farm he worked for there. Uh, but he was here for a long time and employed with that place for up to four years. Is there a connection or a cross path between that and people on our southern border crossing in illegally? What do you see? Look, this person was in the country illegally, and this person admitted to killing this, to this young lady. So that's the two facts, right? Now, mm -hmm. because he successfully hid out, because he successfully hid from authorities for four years, doesn't make it okay. And that's why in the last year and a half, when I was the ICE director, I was pushing, look, we, we do prioritize criminals. 89% uh, of everybody arrested had a criminal history. But mm -hmm. you can't forget about everybody else. You can't wait for them to commit a crime, then all of a sudden make it a priority. We have to enforce the immigration laws across the board, still prioritize criminals. When I was the acting ICE director, I, I instructed to increase the worksite enforcement 400%. When I left, we're already at 300%. We got to take that magnet away. He came here to get a job. If we would have took the, if that magnet, would have been taken away. If we had a wall, if we had the, 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 the loopholes in the immigration system fixed, mm -hmm. who knows what could be, you know, if he wasn't here, the young girl would be alive today. And it is sad uh, that a tragedy like this has to bring it to the attention of the American people once again. Yeah, and, and by touching on that, you sort of bring into the point of the politicizing of all of this. And I'm curious, because you led your team at ICE uh, as acting director up until just a few weeks ago. Um, and, and so you were tasked with, you got to put out, I guess, the noise of the politics, but it's hard to when people are accusing you of, of maybe having less of a heart with these issues. You know, people ought to wear my shoes for the last 34 years and see what I've seen. I've been, I, I was in the back of a tractor trailer and 19 dead aliens and a five-year-old little boy. Mm. Something, something, something that still gives me nightmares. So to, to say that I or any, any of these uh, heroes at ICE don't have a heart, they're all fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters. They've seen some tragic things. So this, is, this isn't just about enforcing law. This is about saving lives. And that's one thing you won't hear the far left talk about. Border Patrol agents, you know, these American patriots that wear that green uniform and stand on the front line every day had over 2,000 saves last year. 2,000 people, they saved their lives because they're at the hands of smugglers who left them stranded in the desert and they were going to die. The men and women of ICE and the men and women of Border Patrol have saved many, many lives. But you don't hear about that. Yeah. Is there something that you would say to a Kate Steinle or Molly Tibbetts family? I mean, you're talking about those 34 years, and, and we're all learning from you what some of the experiences were. What I would say is you have a president now that has given you a voice. I've met with the families, the angel moms, the angel dads. I got an email from Don Rosenberg last night who lost his son to an illegal alien. I can tell you that the president himself, and I've been in that room, he met with these angel families. His heart goes out to him. He's a first president that I know of that gave them a voice. He, cre he created the Victims of Immigration Crime Office at ICE. This president is deeply committed to this issue. This president is doing his job. He wants to protect this country. He wants to protect the United States citizens. 
and he's given a voice to the victims of immigration crime. His president's doing the right thing. He's doing his job. And I think, I, and I've talked to many, most of these angel families, they all love this president. Mm -hmm. They all love this president's giving them a voice, and they're glad this president's in their corner. Thomas Homan, former acting director at ICE and now Fox News contributor. Thank you. Thank you.